You're filming all this stuff, what's nothing to do with you? You've not been asked by this company to come and film. So Have if you? the company don't ask to be filmed, yeah. nobody can film them not, not in your only. head? You can fly it here, up to this, up to this border. No. As soon as it goes over there, yeah. it's invasion, it's trespassing. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Barnsley, an S75 postcode, taking a look at William Rowland. So another one of these new units, but it has a lovely see-through fence and an open shutter. On the website, it says that they are in the metal industry. And in 1840, William Rowland became the first company to import Swedish iron into Sheffield for cutlery production. So I wonder if they're still doing cutlery today. So the range of products, metal powders, revert alloys, refined metals. Okay, so they have a Barnsley head office and a Birmingham site. So whilst we're at Barnsley, let's have a look, shall we? So they have got this net in. I presume that's to stop you looking through. But the shutter is open and the netting is down on this section so we get to have a little look inside the open shutter PPE is certainly on bump cap, high vis we can hear a bit of noise coming from there but can't really see what they're doing compressed gas like some barriers Stop the forklift ramming into things it shouldn't. Yeah, but they're doing something. Just can't quite tell what they're doing at the moment. We've got a, a little roller down here. So that they can move the metal around. Got some pallet collars. Some drums here, farm fresh. And then some bins. In the back. I'm not sure whether he's talking to us or not. Oh yeah, we've been spotted already. Here they come. How are they going to handle the nosy photographer? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's okay. Don't mind me. I'm just making a little video from the outside. All right, mate, yeah. Just about the company and what they do. What is it that you do? I can't tell you really, mate. The website says something about cutlery, metal cutlery. Metal cutting. Cutting? Cutting, yeah. Not cutlery? No. Did they ever do cutlery? Because it says that William Rowland became the first company to import Swedish iron into Sheffield for cutlery production. That might have been back in 1800s when it initially started. Right. But yeah, it's, it's a completely different outfit now, mate, yeah. So you can't still tell me... In, still working in steel industry, but other than that, it's a bit secret. Is it really? Go on then, what's one of the things that you make? Um, I can't really tell you. Then. So it really is secret? It's not really secret, but it, we just like to keep it, you know, okay. under wraps. All right. But you, you, you're welcome to film it anyway. I can't see what's round the corner, so I'm going to take the drone over. Yeah. Just to get some footage from above. 20 minutes and I'll be gone. But I won't come in. I'll stay out. You can't come in, mate, yeah, but yeah, appreciate that. I can, look. <laughs> See you, mate. Don't challenge me to climb this fence. <laughs> One day they might say, okay, try it. But no, I didn't look up, did I? Don't fancy climbing over that. So yeah, they have got some interesting things in the areas that we cannot see. Definitely got some machinery over there, undercover. 
they can't tell us what they output at the moment we're going to have to work this one out or let you guys tell us in the comments but from here let's get david up and let's see what william Rowland looks like from above so as always we've checked on drone assist there are no flight restrictions in this area at all william Rowland. Well, let's have a look at you then so there we are 52 meters high oh they've even got a way bridge have they There are lots of scrap in the skips there. Quite a neat yard really down this area. Everything has a place. Some areas for storing them. <laughs> loads and loads of razor wire. What a tractor unit, Mercedes tractor unit going crazy. I think he must be on some sort of test drive. Have they got a test track over here, have they? Yeah, they have. It's going for it, isn't it? Wow. But back to William Rowland. They do have solar panels. And they also have this bit of land at the back. And the area at the back, under the canopy, let's have a look what's actually under there. So under the canopy, wow, we have a crusher. Look at that. It's like a guillotine as well. And that's possibly for handling, processing the scrap. But I'm just guessing. We have these bins down here, these skips that are empty in here, haven't we? I want to protect that so much for some reason. Oh yes, bulk bags of metal. That makes sense. And I presume these our little grinders to turn them into metal filings. Yes, all is becoming a bit clearer now. Here we go, another brake, emergency brake test. Look at that. I must capture that on the zoom camera shortly. I'm trying to do two things here. Got too much happening. <laughs> I'm not complaining. So over here, we have some more skips, plastic, wood, cardboard, and the metal drums. And they have been crushed, haven't they? Oh yes. And then, just another little bit of a yard with a way bridge. And over here, we have the staff car park. So that's the... Mercedes tractor unit, which keeps doing its brake test. If you hit the yellow cushion, <laughs> and you've not braked hard enough, and he comes storming down here, but then he spins around here and goes back. So let's get the zoom cam ready. I want to see him come down this road at speed. So William Rowland, there's your whole site in one shot. Let's get a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and see if we can get that tractor unit doing emergency stop. Well, that should have been recorded, Pop. No. No, don't do it over here, that's Why is that? Flying? Yeah, you've got a drone out top on you. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. You can't, you can't be flying it on private property and stuff like that, Bob. Why not? Because it's businesses. If it gets robbed, it'll be coming straight to you, ain't it? You're on camera flying stuff over. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just scoping shit out. 
That's you bit... the way it looks like. It might look that way, but I'm innocent. It might be, but towards it doesn't look like that. If you're not being asked to do it, or paid to do it, then don't wait for it. Oh, I'm being paid to do it. That's what you said. Have you, has anybody given you permission to do it? And you just said no. Yeah. No, William Rowland's not paying me. Someone else is. What, to film us? Yeah. If I don't film, I don't get paid. Film it also paying to film us. That's private. It's private, but it's not for us. No. But you shouldn't be doing it, then, should you? You can't be filming other people's properties and things, but it's not to do with personal gains to do it. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand what's making you say this. Because <coughs> you're filming stuff, but you shouldn't be filming. You've not got permission to be filming on this site. That's what I'm saying. Not on the site. You've just been flying drone across. I've just watched it fly all yeah. across and then back over. That's an aircraft. The aircraft can go over. But you're still filming. This is what yeah. I'm saying, yeah? Yeah. So don't. That's all I'm saying. You oh, I permission. will. You haven't got permission by these today. Don't need permission. You do need permission. You've just flown it over this property. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not disputing the fact that yeah, the drone so. has been over. The drone is allowed to go over. The drone's an aircraft. Right. Hot air balloons, planes, helicopters. So, have you just recorded any of this? Side? Yes, the whole lot. Right. And who gives you permission? Who has given you permission? I do not need permission. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll find out, won't we? You can. I know. I know the rules. I know the law. I still wouldn't be doing it, would I? So if this gets robbed tonight, then? You are straight on target, aren't you? Who am I? Who are you? I don't yeah. fucking know you are. How can I be a target is. then? Because you're filming all top in it. I'm an unknown person. <coughs> yeah. And you get robbed robbed, tonight, yeah. You get robbed tonight. You get robbed tonight. How are you going to find me? How am I going to find you? Because you're on cameras, mate. Yeah. You'll be What's... able to get found. No, I won't. Of course you will. You don't know who I am, mate. No, I might not know who you are. But whoever's employed you will do, won't they? I'm trying to make you realise that what you're saying is ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Because, because... you're filming. No, you're filming all this stuff. What's nothing to do with you? You've not been asked by this company to come and film. So Have if you? the company don't ask to be filmed, yeah. nobody can film them not, not in your head. You can fly it here, up to this, up to this border. No. As soon as it goes over there, yeah. it's invasion, it's trespassing. Trespassing? It will be classed as trespassing, yeah. What, in the air? Mm. Trespassing is when you're on someone's property. Yeah, but you're filming the property, that's what I'm saying. You're not just flying it over and doing whatever you want. You're so it. in your head, in your head, Google Maps, when they went over and they filmed this place from above, you can, you can get them done, can you? Google, no, Google Maps are not actually flying it over and of course recording. They did. Look. Yeah, but they're not actually recording what's on site. Of course they are, look. What, what's all that? So what are you doing then? What are you what are you doing it for? for what's YouTube. your purpose for doing it for? YouTube. For YouTube. I'm gonna put this video on YouTube and so many people are gonna watch it, I'm gonna get paid. Simple as that. What for flying over people's properties? Yeah. And workplaces. Yeah. Oh. You're allowed to by law. You're not allowed to by law. Oh, I don't want to show you. I'll show you the law, so just so we uh, part ways knowing that. Mate, all I'm asking you is just move away. No, you're not, you're not I'm not finished film. yet. Yeah, but you're not, you've not been paid to film by us. So why the fuck are you filming a company? What's not paid you to do a job for them? Just because William Rowland don't pay me, I get my money from the adverts on YouTube. Yeah, but that that's, pays not, me. that's not these or a private person paying you to do it, is it? That's you trying to earn money off the of fucking YouTube. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, doing. So just get a proper job and go out and do something else. YouTube pays leave, more. Leave from here and stop filming it. That's all I'm saying. No, I need to complete the video. I need what? to stay here for, for you to. I've just told you. Well, because YouTube wants to see all this, does it? Yes. Yeah, because oh, yeah, because they all they all fucking let me see a fucking unit. Look. Small. I'm not right. I'm well, that's the law. I just want you you're to not... move away. That's all I'm asking. Don't just be rude. Away. Don't be rude. Just do what you ask. I'm then. trying to tell you that you I'm ask. allowed to be here by law. You're not allowed to be here. You're not allowed to be filming over at top of here well, when there's. Do you want me to show you that I am? There's precious metals and it's a lot of stuff. I know. I've seen it all. Fault was wrong. It's on you. Look. You can fly small drones and model aircraft that are lighter than 250 grams at residential, recreational, and commercial and industrial estates. Yeah? Yeah, and so does it I say can. all about you? You've got to have permission and all that, lot. No, no permission's they required. Will be. I can guarantee you they will be. Well, listen, yeah? Like. You, don't want, you don't want me to film here yeah, or fly here, I'm yeah? To move away from it, then. I've, that's a request, yeah? yeah? that's a request. I've politely declined your request. I'm going to be here for another 10 minutes and over, do, you know, do you know in this bin down here, you've got lots of big bulk ton bags full of these metal filings, yeah? yeah we might have. And you've tried to hide them with this screen, yeah? You can't hide from the drone, can you? But this is what I'm saying, so you're recording. Yeah. You're fucking come and rob it then, really, aren't you? You've just admitted to it. If, if you catch me... So why, me, why are you looking what's if, on our shop? If why you, you catch me robbing, shop floor? because I want to. I'm here to find interesting things. Down at the back, you've got a compactor. Yeah. So and what's it to do with you? What we've got on our site? When you're nothing to fucking do with this company? Your business yeah. is my business. No, it isn't, mate. I've made it my business. And how much, how much have you got in business? Huh? Fuck all. Just go away. No. Just go away. No. I thought you might have um, come to realise that this is normal nowadays. Filming 
around. Not filming a property. When it, what happens when it does get robbed? You're the first person to come to your own oh, cameras. It How be able will you be you. able to find me? I would. I would be not. We'd just show your picture to police, and surely they'll find you. What? Just from a picture, of someone's yeah. face. Of course they would. You really think that from a photo of someone's face, yes, police have would. got your address? They'd be able to find you if they needed to. Wow. You have a lot of faith. There's a lot of fucking expensive material, and you're just flying over without no permission. You've not asked for permission. You've not asked for no. You've just come up, rocked up, thinking you can do what you want. When you, I can. You can't. I can. Just go away. No. Look, you, you keep saying, go away, do this, do that, as if, like, you've got some authority over me. No, I haven't. So why haven't try no it? You haven't got no authority to be over here. I'm not. At all. I'm not on your at side. All. I'm not on your side. No, but you're flying shit over it. You're allowed. I've just showed you all the right. law. That's not law. That's fucking a bit of fucking gobble shit from the fucking internet. Are you finished? Yeah, fuck off. Swearing as well. Not a very good representation of the company, mate. No, but you should be flying stuff over. We're I've showed you that I'm allowed. I asked you nicely to leave and you started being a dick. Fuck off. Wow. I can't believe you're being like this. Well, just go then. Go then. Disgusting language. Is he going to slam it? No. We tried our best. We really did try our best. Yes, of course you're trying to hide the things that you don't want people to see. But we're here to have a look, aren't we? And to see all these unusual things. William Rowland, you've got very, very good security, great cameras. He says, the police will know exactly who you are from the cameras, so the police will also know exactly who the thieves are, won't they? Making a video about the company. YouTube. So I can make some money. All right. Sorry. In regards to interesting things that happen on industrial estates. Right. And this. Yeah, no problem, mate. What I do, 20 minutes outside, take the drone over, just cover the site, work out what you do. I've already asked um, one of your colleagues what you do, but it's a bit secretive, he said. Yeah, it's not. Uh, that's why I've obviously again asked questions as to what you're doing. Yeah, security is very good here. Yeah. So you'll be okay. What do these what, white things do here? Radiation detection. For what? Any radioactive material that's coming in. Oh, right, okay. So you wouldn't want that to enter? Okay. So does it make a noise when you're passing through? There's an alert inside. Right. At that point, it gets stopped, checked, and if it's radioactive, it'll get sent outside. Does the alert inside tell everyone? No. Okay. Just the person that's monitoring that station? Basically, yeah. All right, mate. So, there we have it. We've got all sorts of characters here. The noise that you can hear now is actually the intercom being pressed over there. I've seen that twice now. So at least they're not gonna miss people that are outside. But what I have noticed is out here, we do have lots of metal all around. That's a little bit unusual, isn't it? We can see little bits down here as well. Oh yes, we've touched it, so we'll keep it. <laughs> They'll probably tell me off for that. But I'm not gonna touch these bits. I'll just show you what they look like. Down here, look. Yeah. We've actually got a piece on the footpath as well. Looks a little bit sharp, that one does. See that? So I have touched that one, so I'll pick it up. I'll offer it back to them if they do come back out. But I think they are going to retreat now. He's gone back in. He did make a phone call before he went back in. I can't see anyone looking out the windows all right. So I don't think it's been escalated too high up in the company just yet. The location of the DJ Audits keyring on this video 
It's just there under the stones. If you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. Just notice there's loads more as well around here. I bet if you picked up all these pieces of metal, you'd have loads all down here as well. Look at that piece. Now that's a big piece, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? Put that in my pocket. <laughs> Looks like I'm stealing the metal there, but my golden rule is if I touch it and it's rubbish, I'll take it away and I'll put it in the bin. But we get the gist here. We get the gist. And that's it from William Rowland. We've seen a few different characters on this one, haven't we? One last thing to notice is the designated smoking point is out here on the public footpath. It's not the first time that we've seen this, but is it right? Should the designated smoking area be out here on our public footpath? Because of course, some people are going to miss, aren't they? And it's not nice to see. We are on an industrial estate. We've not got children wandering around. It's not a, a route, a safe route to school or anything like that, but it's still a little bit unpleasant. Maybe that should be over there in the corner where the benches are on your site. And still, you can understand a few bits of metal filings over there near the gates, but over here, in this growth, really? Maybe somebody should be coming out just to check how far these metal filings have made their way down the road. And here comes another. Really pushing them to the limit, aren't they? Here he comes again. Do you mind? Sorry, don't mind what? I'm busy. Oh, you, know want, then. you can do what you want. Okay. You're doing what you want. Leave me to it then. Yeah, but what are you doing? Just curious. What do you look like? Video in a truck. Can I help? Can I help? No, I'm busy. Okay. All right. You can understand from our point of view, we have thefts up here, so we've got to be very, very conscientious. I'm not saying you're a thief in any way, shape, or form. You're the second person from William Rowland who's made accusations to a minute. photographer. It's not an accusation. I don't want to know about thefts. I don't want to know about floods. I don't want to know about problems that your business has got. Okay. okay? I just want to be left alone outside on so, the public footpath, that's public highway. Fine. We understand that. Thank that's you. Fine. Thank you. At the moment, just I'm just asking you what you were doing. That's all. What did it look like? I'm looking at a test track. Mercedes Benz used truck dealer. Whatever they do here, they're doing some sort of emergency stops. You don't see it every day. No. You don't see a place that turns metal into little filings every day. No. So interesting things are happening on an industrial estate. That's fine. I'm here That's to film them. Just talk to me then. I've told everyone the same. I put them on YouTube. I get paid for doing so. Right. Your colleague couldn't grasp that, so it's put me on the back foot. I don't okay. wish to engage with anybody from your company anymore because of the conversation that's just been just had. Yeah. You will see it. I, I'm recording right now. Yeah, 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 I'm e sure, yeah. Everything goes onto YouTube okay. for everybody to see how professional people are, how drone and photographers and we, are treated. And what sort of, what's your channel? If I tell you that, you might put a complaint in against the video before I've made my bulk lot of money. I predict because of the reaction 
that he gave me. It can be no, it can be no negativity. All okay. You, if that's what you're saying, you're just videoing for YouTube. You've done nothing wrong. You're well, for YouTube. If I, I'm telling you now that I'm filming for YouTube, an interesting thing that happens on an industrial estate. Would you then start swearing at me? No, I haven't swore at you. Okay. If the video, if one of your colleagues have swore at me, when they see that video, do you think they're going to try their best to get it taken down? Well. I don't know how that works. I don't know how people can just take videos down. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody's just got the right to take a video down, have they? Okay. Well, in that case, look, look at this. Don't you find that unusual and fascinating? Yeah, it's just pretty cool, yeah. They've actually got permission to push these to the limit. A friend of mine has done this, actually. He's a photographer. He's a photographer. He, he photographs these trucks. What, from here? I've got Mercedes. No, no, no. I've got Mercedes. And I've let him have a go at that. Right. He really enjoyed it. I just don't get... I've not seen anything like that before. I've seen test tracks on um, electric car manufacturers. There's a lot of those popping up on industrial estates now. To be honest, it's good to do it because, obviously, you don't want them things coming at you at speed and not being able to stop. Huh, so that's it. Good. A minute ago, they had a yellow cushion. So I've got no beef with you. I'm just naturally, as a director of the company, and somebody's outside videoing stuff, you're going to get somebody asking you questions. It, it'd be very, very uncommon for someone not to come out and say to you, what you're doing. Yeah. You I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just asking you what you're doing. But you must appreciate that in my position, I've spoke to three people now, four people actually. Okay. And I've explained first. Well, I didn't know that. I've just had one guy come up and said, there's a guy outside videoing and I've gone down to see you. I don't know all the backdrop, who you spoke to. I don't know who's come out to you. I've just come out. Well, myself. communication might need to get better inside. Once you've got some information from somebody on the outside, that needs to be shared with everybody so it doesn't happen again. Um, what was the main thing that he was concerned about? Oh, the, the drone saw some tonne bags that you hide in. Wow. You can see it on Google Maps. Yeah. There's certain things he was trying to insinuate. So I says, look, the worst thing, the only thing I've seen really that I feel like you wouldn't want people to see is that. Yeah. But who can just lift a ton bag? You've got great security no, here. But we haven't, we haven't. This is the problem. What, you've not got great security? No, no, we've got great security. But people still, let me speak for a minute, people rob us they, and they do get into the ton bags. Right. They, they take stuff. So imagine from our point of view, we are going to want to, to see. Look, over here. They can see. No, no, I know. So I know. it's nothing new that I'm no, showing it's, them. It's nothing new that you're showing us, but just understand this. If I'm outside your house at night, looking up and down your drive, looking around, you're going to come out and say, can I help you? Am I right? Because you're a director, yeah. you have got an attachment, yeah? and you've got a financial interest yeah, in it. So I get that. Yeah. You really don't want people s stealing your assets. That's right, yeah. That's, yeah? that's the only reason I'm here. If, it's, if you're not a threat to stealing any of my assets, because I don't see that you are, I ain't got a problem with you. Yeah, it's not, it. it's not illegal to uh, to walk up and down a public footpath. If they really but wanted to, ask because if you were someone else who, who was thinking of stealing the assets, and I didn't do anything and just left it, and someone says, "Well, the guy came and and he was the same guy who came next to it and brought," I've got to ask. I'm a director. Yeah. So what I would do in your shoes, I'd focus the cameras onto my face and get as much footage yeah. as you can. As long as I'm not coming on your land, you really can't be oh, trying understand. to get me to leave. But I'm not. No, no, I, I know you're not. You. I, I know you're not. The guy previously, he told me to go away, stop doing what I'm doing, F off. But with respect to that guy, he's not any former manager or anything. He's just a, a shop floor guy that, you know. What he, uniforms he, he, he wearing? He, he is, he is. But we'll talk to him about that. We'll talk to him about that. Um, but we, everyone's a little bit tetchy, as you would be if you've had repeated thefts and you see someone coming up camera and you're going to ask questions. Yes, and that's, remain professional maybe, when you ask may, them. Maybe he maybe didn't handle it, handle it professionally, I understand that, and I apologise if it's been abrupt here or swore it here or anything like that. Um, but I'm not doing that. I've come out to ask you man to man what's happening. You've told me what's happening and I'll leave you in peace to do what you're going to do. Okay. All right? Okay. All right? Yeah, I've picked up a few bits of what I do. If I see any litter, yeah. I'm, here, I'm here to just focus on anything that I find. Is it like an environmental stance, then, you, or is it just a bit of everything? That you... A bit of everything, but the channel has got the word audit in it. So if I find litter and I pick it up, yeah. I'd just like it's to give it back to you stuff. to put it into your bin, if that's all right. Yeah, so I don't want to take it away. Yeah. No, no. 
I did make a comment that if somebody spent 10 minutes picking all this up, they could make a few quid, couldn't they? I'll tell you something there. It's not just you that think that. The amount of punctures we've had in our own in our own yards. It's all down here, mate. So not nobody likes it when we do our, we do the best we can to yeah. try to try to. I'm sure we you'll. Have a, we have a sweeper that you'll see at another yeah. time coming up, hovering everything up. Yeah. We try. We don't want to be a burden on uh, environment. Nobody likes it. We all get bloody punctures for Christ's sake, and they're not they're not paid for. We have to replace them tyres ourselves. So anything like this, we welcome with open arms to try and better it. Yeah. Because we don't want this. We don't want anybody getting these in their bloody shoes and clothes, etc. Yeah. So Wildlife, no issues. It? What about what about the designated smoking point being outside? Um, is that is that correct in your eyes? I don't know about that to be honest because the operations guy looks after all that and we've got to have one outside the building because some of these turnings have got cutting fluid on yeah so we don't want to cause any foot sort of hazards etc is it fair on members of the public that are using the public footpath to walk by and look at that uh, would the council install anything like that or do you think that should actually be over there in the corner where you've got some benches on your land i couldn't comment on that to be honest i'd have to ask someone i'm not genned up on every aspect of what we should and shouldn't do with the guidelines of the company it's a dead end, so not many people come down here, so I can see why you might think you can get yeah. away with it, but it's still the public highway. I'll ask the questions, but, uh, but yeah. All right, I'll leave you alone anyway. Thank you. All right. Yeah, nice to meet you. So, we was just ending the video there with some lovely tractor unit footage, doing their brake tests. Direct comes out. We was busy, but it turned out to be okay in the end and I'm sure he's taken those little concerns on board. And we'll leave it there. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. And hopefully, he doesn't swear at a photographer again. Yes, we saw you.